This is the Afternoon Buzz Rewind Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Thrash. Join me for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7, only on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz. What's your rewind? So, M&M's newest flavor is Orange Creamsicle. Well, technically they're called Orange Vanilla Cream, but you know what they're going for. It's a mix of white chocolate, orange, and cream flavors, and you can only get them at Dollar General stores. Now, it doesn't sound like they're good on paper, but according to one review that we saw online, they're surprisingly good. I guess I'll take their word on that. I mean, because look here, man, just because a flavor of something can exist, that doesn't mean it should exist. 106.3 The Buzz presents Nonsense Minute. Gah. How am I supposed to check my Facebook with this stupid job? Is work interfering with your Facebook time? Uh, um, yeah. yeah. We can help. We're Welfare. Ooh, Ooh, I've heard of that. That sounds exotic. Welfare can pay you money to just sit around. I can check Facebook. I, I can, can get, get stoned. stoned. Uh, Plus, the more babies you have, the more money you get. Uh, uh, yuck. Babies, babies suck. They're fat and drooly. Babies are bad. But more money. Yay, babies! I have cats with human names. That might work. Yay, cats, cats with, with human, human names. names! Yeah, but what about rent? You can live in an abandoned church. That's true, though. We can do crack! What? Now you get it. Thank you, welfare! Can they pay me in crack? We'll have to check. <laughs> Sorry. That was a lot of fun. STP's Dean DeLeo and Jeff Goot were talking about touring in a new interview, and Dean said that they're such fans of music, they're built for it. He said he's had friends over the years, said he'd like to come out and spend a few days on the road. And after about 48 hours, they'd be like, yeah, I think I'm getting the flu, man. I got to go home. And, and Jeff added that it's like camping a lot. It's just an interesting lifestyle. It's like the circus, really. He said you're just traveling from town to town and going into town and entertaining and having fun, sharing music and having a blast. And I will say, you know, when I was in my 20s, I was all about touring. I, I would have been totally down. But now that I'm in my 40s, man, I really want to sleep in my own bed at night. But, you know, Metallica have that all within my hands charitable foundation. And as part of that, they're launching a Metallica Day of Service on May 23rd. What they're doing is they're asking fans to volunteer for a day at the community food banks that the band has supported during their North American tour. The closest one to us is in Fort Worth, the Tarrant Area Food Bank. The volunteer shifts available are 1 to 4 p.m., or 6 to 9 p.m. Now, if you do volunteer, you're going to receive a Metallica-themed T-shirt for your efforts. You need to get registered by May 14th. We have all the details for you at 1063thebuzz.com. Offspring recently announced a summer tour with 311 and Gym Class Heroes, and you would think with that tour lined up, they would be touring after the release of their new album that they've been working on uh, like forever, but no, that's not the case. In a new interview, Noodle said that the record's taken them a long time. He said it's going to be well worth the wait, but it's not going to be out before the tour. They've got about 10 songs done, a couple more that just need lyrics, and then they may do one or two more, and it's going to be a done deal. They're hoping to get it out this fall. It's definitely out this year, hopefully fall. You can read more of what Noodles had to say at 1063thebuzz.com. This year marks 20 years since Godsmack's self-titled debut album came out, and at one time they were talking about possibly doing something to commemorate the anniversary. However, Soli Erna said in a new interview that they really feel the new album when Legends Rise is so strong that they want to focus on that. You know, they'll maybe revisit the self-titled album when they hit 25 years, but at this point, it's all about focusing on the present rather than the past. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 106.3 The Buzz. Vagrants. The new fragrance for the homeless man. Ooh, that smells like squirrel pee. It smells like a canker sore I had once. Vagrants. A fragrance as free as nachos you find in the trash. Here, smell behind my ears. Ugh. See, it smells like that, doesn't it? Vagrants. Vagrants. For wherever the wind takes you. Yeah, if it takes you to a dumpster behind a retirement home. Smells like what happens when you leave mayo in the sun. And then poop in it. And add seaweed. If you want to be with such a man. Spare some change. <laughs> this is exactly the fragrance you'd expect. Vagrants. I think a rat died in my house. Not if you're homeless. Oh. Vagrants. 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 It also repels mosquitoes, but it doesn't repel the ladies. Your dead tooth will do that. Well, it's tax day, and according to a new survey, almost no one thinks they should personally be paying more taxes than they already do. 1,500 Americans were asked this question. Considering what you get from the federal government, do you think you pay more than your fair share of taxes? 
less than your fair share, or about the right amount. Only 6% said they pay less than their fair share. 35% say they pay too much. 33% said it's about right. And 26% said they're not sure. Well, for those of you who think you're paying too much, remember, without taxes, America would collapse. Unlike now, where things are smooth sailing. Brent Smith was talking about Shinedown's new album, Attention, Attention, in an interview and talking about how different they did things this time around. Traditionally, they would write like 100 songs and then take the 10 songs they thought were the strongest. Maybe he's exaggerating. I don't know. You, you never know. But this time around, when they wrote a song, it served as the next part of the story. From the beginning of writing to the very end, they had an understanding of what they wanted to tell people and how it would progress. Now, the concept is about how people allow their fears and self-doubts to paralyze them. Brent said people are so scared of trying something new solely because it's new, and that is no way to live. Deep thoughts from Shinedown. 1063 The Buzz presents Nonsense Minute. Have you ever gotten stoned, walked into traffic, and been hit by a clown car? Uh, that was weird. It happens more than you'd think. That's why more and more burners like you are getting stoner insurance. Because stupid sh** happens every day to stoners like you. What does stoner insurance cover? What? Stoner insurance covers food or pets you may have eaten or forgotten to feed. Oh, shut up, Bigfoot. Stoner insurance covers all damages related to toaster ovens, sexual accidents involving vacuum cleaners, Chinese finger traps, or octopi. Stoner insurance also covers your game thumb, couch sores, nacho cheese burns. Just about anything your little stoned ass can get into. Just sing our jingle and we'll appear. Oh, stoner, stoner insurance. insurance. Well, yeah. Come here. Stone, come, stone, come stoner here. insurance. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you'd do it. Hey. How have you survived this long without stoner insurance? Call today. Linga Park have been nominated for three Billboard Music Awards this year. They've been nominated for Top Rock Artist, Top Rock Album for One More Light, and Top Rock Song for Heavy. They're going up against Imagine Dragons, Portugal the Man, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and 21 Pilots. And is it just me, or does Billboard not have a grasp on what rock is? I mean, yeah, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, but the other ones? Okay, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, the Billboard Music Awards will be broadcast live on NBC Sunday, May 20th, starting at 7 p.m. You can read more on this year's nominations at 1063thebuzz.com. Hey, thanks for checking out the Afternoon Buzz Rewind podcast. Join me, Johnny Thrash, for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7 on Real Rock Radio, 1063 The Buzz.